here's the story about how I almost didn't become a fish geek. imagine the crazy ripple effect that would have happened if I hadn't become a fish geek? I mean, the whole world could have been completely different! Okay, well, there's at least a few fish that would disagree with you. No, but yesterday, Jay, you asked if there was any one decision that I've made that made a huge impact on the rest of my life, and there's at least one that comes to mind. Now, when I became old enough to get my first job, I started going around and putting in applications at all the normal spots you go to when you're getting your first part-time job. The two that matter was a Kroger's grocery store and a pet land. I had submitted applications at both places and had waited about two weeks and hadn't heard anything. So my mom asked me if there was any one particular job that I'd prefer to have and that was pet land. So she recommended that I make a follow-up phone call just to see if they've had a chance to review my application. So I did and I can tell you if you are applying for a part-time job always do this because it is so easy at places like that where managers are turned over all the time for your application to just get lost. Sure enough they dug out my application and asked me to come in for a job interview. And of course, past the meager standards that they consider necessary to be a fish guru at Petland. So I was offered a job and got my schedule for the next week. That same day, right after I left Petland, I got a phone call from Kroger asking when I could start. So if I hadn't made that follow-up phone call, everything in my life that has happened as a result of me working at that Petland wouldn't have happened, which is a lot of stuff. For example, my dad and I buying an aquarium retail store a few years later when I was 18. The store was called Ultimate Aquariums and it basically gave me my first introductory view into what it was like to run a small business while I was still in high school, which led to me becoming a business major a few months later in college. So then all of a sudden we had access to all of these things available to people who own pet stores, including trade shows, which we ended up going to our very first one because we received a postcard in the mail saying we were invited. It was in Baltimore which has a big aquarium which in itself is a big enough pull for my dad and I to go but it was just that justifying reason for us to make a trip up there. At that trade show in the corner of this huge event center is this little table set up for a small just kind of personalized Q&A with the guy who installed the aquarium at the Smithsonian. This was right up our alley so we sat down and just began absorbing every little bit of information he was willing to divulge on caring for what he called a big fish bowl. Two weeks ago, that guy and his company alongside my company completed the installation of this huge aquarium in my town that I've been talking about for the past several months. That aquarium alone launches my business into a whole new realm of possibilities. It's crazy. What the hell would have happened if I took the job bagging groceries? Seriously, I want to know what you guys think would have happened. Leave it down below. I mean, I could have had a sidekick or a catchphrase. 